been waiting to leave. Or should I say, Bedechokhale? Infecting my men. How do we silence get... or death? What he could be in here. Stay quiet. Your life depends on it. Sit. The parasite has infected your band. Those are its lava. They enter the throat and attach themselves to the vocal cords. They mimic the host's membranes flawlessly. No one can tell the difference. Upon reaching maturity, they mate. Sustained exposure to a particular sound triggers copulation. The resulting larva then feast on the host's lungs, killing it. Particular sound. His words. They attack only those who speak a certain language. Not just one. I cannot say which language your parasites are attuned to. But silence is the best way to keep them from laying their children. This contains an herb that they dislike. <laughs> Good. That should deafen them for a while. You have bought yourself some time. Speak. Is there a cure? Once symptoms manifest, lava have already infested the alveoli. At which point, nothing can be done. There is a way to halt the onset, which would prevent infection. your help. He stole the ones I sealed away. Forced me to do his terrible work. Skullface. Even a country like America sways in his wake. I could not defy him. The fate of Dene lies in his hands. However, Perhaps the Nishia led you here. If my children have upset the Hojun of the world, it falls to me to set it right. small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection. 
We're exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium and weaponize it. Loaded onto all terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. If fail safe, only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikango strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikango. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Volbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. We got word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB-0. That's where I'll activate Sal Anthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll run 
rendezvous on site. 